Welcome back. Well, there may be a connection between last Friday's ransomware attack and North Korea. Tracy Carrasco is checking it out right now. Tracy, good morning. Good, good morning, Maria. Cybersecurity firms say parts of the WannaCry ransomware use the same code as malware previously distributed by a North Korea linked hacking group. Similar tools were also used against Sony Pictures Entertainment, the Bangladesh Central Bank last year, and Polish banks in February. The hackers based their attack on vulnerabilities stolen from the NSA and published last month with this wanna cry. Department of Homeland Security Advisor Tom Bossert is not saying who is responsible for the attack. At this point, only urging computer users to protect themselves. It's important for our business and individuals to know that three variants of this ransomware are reported to have emerged using similar techniques. Uh, we had talked last, I was here, about variants of this malware. If you follow the mitigation advice published by DHS, the FBI, and Microsoft, and have patched your systems, you are protected against all of these variants. While experts believe the virus has mostly been contained, now begins the task of estimating how much this cyber attack cost companies. Silicon Valley cyber risk firm Science estimates the direct cost of computer shutdown time from the cyber attacks to be around $8 billion globally. That number based on average computer system backup rates and lines of business. In total, some 300,000 computers in more than 150 countries around the world were infected, and about 50,000 in Bitcoin was paid out in ransom. Now, the White House says that the people that did pay out that ransom did not recover their systems. Aha, uh -huh. so they paid it out and they still didn't recover. They the lost system. twice. And that's why Disney this morning, Dagan, is pushing back, saying, I'm not going to pay any ransom. Um, they want to release the Caribbean movie. It, the Wall Street Journal has an excellent editorial on this very issue because the. It, we should point out the virus takes advantage of a software flaw in Windows, in the Windows operating system. That the NSA, the National Security Agency, actually identified last year. A patch was issued by Microsoft. The NSA notified Microsoft of this problem. Microsoft um, bl is blaming the NSA, saying that the end, that for researching mm -hmm. these types of hacking methods. But this is commonplace in the government mm. that you try and uncover these flaws. They were Microsoft was alerted, but clearly the people who did not patch their systems were vulnerable. And in many instances, they were vulnerable because they were running in places like China and Russia. They were running um, older systems, not older, but they were um, counterfeit. Mm -hmm. so oh, they were counting. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. They yeah. Were, they According weren't. to our story, these were pretty crude tactics that whoever right. did this launched, which kind of Pirate, brings you back me, to the pirated. North Koreans. It was pirated wow. Microsoft software. That's why it hadn't been patched. Mm. Mm. Right. And it, it brings you back to the North Korean element uh, to, to this, that they were using kind of crude tactics. What's the sense that this is going to spread, that they're going to do this again, and that there's some other vulnerability out there that we have to worry about? You know, there is always a chance for copycat cyber attacks like this. This code, you know, they're looking at the similarities because they're saying the code that was used is not widely used. They saw that in other attacks, uh, like the one we saw with Sony uh, and the others with the Bangladesh Bank. So, you know, it could very well be another instance of this that they're looking into. I mean, this well, these are big numbers. This is a big cost. Mm -hmm. what, a, what a menace the North Koreans are turning into. It's, they're, it's not just missiles that they're shooting yeah. into the air and threatening to drop nuclear bombs all over the world. They're also potentially uh, in the middle of uh, all these cyber attacks. It's a great point, yeah. And, and we saw the implications of that with the Sony hack. Mm -hmm. um, so and, and this hack of the Bank of Bangladesh mm -hmm. that where they stole money through the New York Fed. Uh, to, to out of the Bank of Bangladesh in this search for cash that they've got. Yeah, and well, all of this is a... Uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, okay. they, no, they, no, no I was going to say the world is the hacker's oyster because this is nothing compared to the, a, a giant banking system being hacked. What about our electrical grid? Right. Even the Wall Street Journal points out traffic lights or electronic medical records mm -hmm. wow. being compromised. Just that if, if these organizations, with the, the, quite frankly, the help from the Department of Defense can't get can't get their houses in order, that th this is just the beginning of something much more awful. Yeah, what it does is just um, makes uh, there, there uh, to be a loss of confidence in the safety of our systems. And the more there is a public loss of confidence, it destabilizes our economy a bit. And I think that's ultimately the goal of these global hackers that are state-sponsored like North Korea, is to disrupt 
um, our you know free enterprise system and is and and our and our technology and to make Americans feel it's not safe. Well, what, what, Donald yesterday. Trump is focusing on North Korea. Is this a, another piece of evidence that there really should be a global confrontation with North Korea to put an end once and for all? With the menacing that they're doing all well, over the world. Well, yesterday there was some encouragement to, to to pay the ransom, and I thought that was the craziest thing. You don't pay the ransom, um, but uh, I guess some people did. Mm -hmm. Some yeah. companies did, Tracy. Yeah, some people did, and as we saw, they didn't get their systems, their files back. They were just out the money, and now they're spent spending their time, spending more money to try and. Get everything back. And to they normal. paid it in Bitcoin. They paid it in Bitcoin. Bitcoin so what does this tell us about Bitcoin? And you can't Bitcoin trace it. You can't. You know. You don't know where it's that's going. Why, yeah. So that's why these hackers choose to use Bitcoin yeah. as their payment. Exactly. It, it raises the issue of if you believe that the role of government is national defense, then we need a lot of work on our cyber defense. Yeah, it's a great point. Well, Tracy, great stuff. Thank you, Tracy Carrasco. There.